Good evening. We're continuing to follow breaking news tonight as Elmira police investigate a baby who was found in a plastic bag beside behind someone's home. Good evening. I'm Renata Steele and I'm Nick Quaterni. Thanks for joining us for WENY News at six o'clock and that child was discovered in that plastic bag at a home on Walnut Street, which is near Grove Park in the city of Elmira. The good news is we are told tonight the child is alive and in stable condition at the hospital. WENY's Isabel Garcia is live on scene and has more about this unbelievable discovery. Isabel. Yes, Nick and Renata, I am live here on Walnut Street where police have now set up a perimeter around the home where this baby girl was discovered. Police say that they first arrived on scene around 1.15 this afternoon after getting a call from neighbors who reported actually finding the child in a bag behind the home in the brush. Now, the neighbors tell me that I did speak with the neighbors earlier today and they said that at first they heard some noises that sounded similar to those of a cat screeching or something similar to that of an animal. They went to go investigate and that's when they made the very shocking discovery. So I am at the far end towards my neighbor's house. I was leaning out, um, looking over the porch and I see something in the back of the yard. So I see it move. So I told her, I said, sis, look, look at over here. And she looked and she said, it's moving. So the other two came up and saw as well. And my sister came off the porch and went to the side to the backyard of my neighbor's house with a stick, thinking it was a dog. We thought it was a dog, honey, and it wasn't. <laughs> it was a baby. Now we are going to have much more coming up for you for uh, WEMY News tonight at 11. Now just to confirm, Elmira Police Department did say that this baby girl is alive. They are hailing these women who found her and saved her as heroes. As I said, we're going to have much more from, from police as well as these neighbors who made the discovery for you tonight on WEMY News at 11. For now, reporting live in Elmira, Isabel Garcia, WEMY News. New tonight and obviously our top story, Elmira police have arrested a teenager from Sarah, Pennsylvania in connection to that baby girl that was found inside of a plastic bag. That's right. And Elmira police say the teen has been arraigned and is facing attempted murder charges. Now the baby was first discovered by neighbors earlier this afternoon and this after hearing odd noises coming from the backyard of a home on Walnut Street. Tuesday afternoon around 1 o'clock, Elmira police responded to a home on Walnut Street after a child had been found inside of a plastic bag outside. Uh, officers responded and we did locate um, a small infant child, approximately 12 to 16 months old, that had apparently been abandoned um, behind a residence here. Police say the neighbors who found the baby girl began to give her aid until emergency personnel arrived on scene. The Good Samaritans that found the child had brought it inside, tried washing up, and immediately called 911. They rendered as much first aid as possible until emergency responders could arrive on scene. The child was immediately transported to a local hospital and is currently in stable condition. While the child was discovered this afternoon, police say she may have been left in the plastic bag overnight. Estimates of how long the baby was outside vary. Um, we do believe that it's um, more than 12 hours at this point. We have people said that they thought they heard noises last evening. So there's no way to confirm this because like I said, the child wasn't found until today. The neighbors who made the initial discovery describe hearing odd noises, first thinking it may be an animal in distress. My sister came off the porch and went to the side to the backyard of my neighbor's house with a stick thinking it was a dog. We thought it was a dog, honey, and it wasn't. <laughs> it was a baby. And I was going to go poke at it and see what it was. I dropped that sick look down. I walked okay. up. I dropped it so fast. I walked up, and I see my baby. The bit, I call my baby. My baby little girl, just her legs were dangling in the bag. Her head was in the bag, the whole bag covering her body. I tore the. That's what they were yeah, trying to do. Here. Police arrested 17-year-old Harriet M. Hoyt of Sayer, PA. She's being charged with attempted murder. Elmira police are hailing the neighbors for their quick actions to help get the baby girl to safety. Very heroic on their part to render aid, immediately get inside as you would expect any uh, decent human being to do. Um, washed up the baby as quickly as they could and, and did whatever they could until first responders arrived. They are truly um, heroes in this incident. And of course, we will continue to keep you posted on any details regarding the story, both on air as well online. Stay with us on Twitter and Facebook. Just search WEMY TV.
Continuing coverage tonight, we learned a lot about the abandoned baby over the past 48 hours, and now we're taking a closer look at the quick-thinking, alert neighbor who's being credited with saving the baby girl's life. Yes, that's right. I met up with Kayla Seals at Grove Park earlier this evening, who describes in great detail the ordeal when she made the shocking discovery. Kayla Seals lives next door to the home where a baby girl was discovered outside, left in a plastic bag. She explained she was inside her home getting ready to hang out with friends on the porch when her sister called over noticing something moving in the brush behind the home. So my sister leaped over the railing and she said, Mom, what is that? So I look over, you're right, what is that? Kayla says something compelled her to look further into it. Her and a friend went over to the object thinking it may be an animal. We're thinking it's a dog, you know what I'm saying? We're thinking it's a dog. So. I don't know what it was, but something told me to come off that porch. So I came off that porch. I walked down, and Priya, my people, told me, gave me a stick, a big old stick, girl, a big old stick, a big old stick. So I go poke at it. See what is it? Kayla says she noticed two little legs sticking out of the bag. That's when she dropped the stick, realizing what she had just discovered. I see her now. See y'all, it's a human. They're like, what? I said, it's a baby. They're like, it's a baby. Kayla goes on to say the baby girl, who we now know is eight months old, was put in the bag head first with her legs exposed and she was filthy. Girl, she was a mess. Like, I can't even sleep. 24 hours, I can't even sleep. I ripped the bag open. Darling, I ripped that bag open. She was in feces, darling, in feces. Feces, pee, flies were on, on. Kayla then took the baby girl inside to wash her down in the bathtub, noticing the child was suffering badly. She had maggots on her neck, itching, just crawling at her. She had scars on her, her chest down. Her legs was burnt. Her arms was burnt. She couldn't breathe, baby. She was she was trying to gasp for air. You hear me, darling? Gasp for air. While Kayla and her sister are being hailed as heroes by the community, she says it was just the right thing to do. I will accept. I will understand that what you guys are doing for me, what people are doing for me and my sister is good. But I honestly, I don't want it because my God told me to do this. Truly amazing. A big thank you to Kayla Seals and her sister for taking the time to speak with us tonight. And of course, we will continue to follow any other developments regarding this story. New tonight, the Sarah mother accused of abandoning her baby in a plastic bag in a backyard in Elmira will be staying in New York State. The 17 year old was back in city court today for a preliminary hearing. WNY's Dan Schrack was in the courtroom and has more for us live from downtown Elmira. Dan. Nick Renata, today was the second time Harriet Hoyt appeared before a judge here in Elmira City Court. The first was at her arraignment on Wednesday. Today was supposed to be her preliminary hearing. From the time she walked in till the time she left, she showed very little emotion. The 17-year-old is accused of putting her eight-month-old daughter in a trash bag, then leaving it behind a house on Walnut Street. She's facing attempted murder and intent to cause death charges. Now, before court today, the prosecution and the defense were able to reach an agreement, waiving the preliminary hearing and the possibility of extradition back to PA. In exchange, Hoyt was given a reduced bail and an open file discovery from the district attorney. I think there's just a, a lot to the story that eventually I hope will come out and um, you know I, I don't believe that, that she's the monster that she uh, sometimes being painted as she's everyone needs to remember she's a 17 year old single single mother and you know what she's accused of is obviously a very horrible thing but it's also a very traumatic thing for any 17 year old to go through. Now, Brennan says there are other pieces to this story that we are missing. However, he could not tell us what those pieces are at this time, and we'll have to wait for this story to develop and unfold to find out just what he means by that. We also want to let you know that part of the reason that the prosecution and defense were able to reach that agreement was because of how well the eight-month-old child is doing. We're told that Hoyt's daughter is recovering at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester and is doing, quote, very, very well. For now, reporting in Elmira, Dan Schrack, WENY News at 6. 
Good Friday evening. Thanks for joining us for WENY News at 6. I'm Bernada Steele. And I'm Nick Quatrini. The Sayre teenager accused of leaving her baby in a bag behind a home in Elmira pleaded guilty to attempted murder today. And in exchange for her guilty plea, Harriet Hoyt will spend nine years in state prison. WENY's Karen Inselmo has the story. First and foremost, we wanted some accountability for the uh, particular crime, specifically leaving the seven and a half month old, um, basically just leaving the seven and a half month old in the bushes. 17 year old Harriet Hoyt pleading guilty to second degree attempted murder today. She admitted to leaving her baby daughter in a bag behind a home on Walnut Street in Elmira this summer. The baby was found alive by neighbors nearly 72 hours after she was abandoned, covered in feces, clinging to life. As part of the deal, Hoyt pleaded guilty to attempted murder in exchange for a nine-year state prison sentence. Assistant District Attorney Terry Northrup says prosecutors took multiple factors into account when deciding what to offer, including a mental health evaluation Hoyt went through during the court process. We c consider all sorts of circumstances in the context of the situation, and as I said, these guys did an excellent job in kind of uh, pulling all the, the threads uh, with regard to the context of Harriet Hoyt's life. Um, so all of those things would be taken into consideration as mitigating factors. Hoyt's lawyer did not comment after the deal today, but back in August, he told WENY News he didn't believe she was the monster she was being painted as. For now, Hoyt remains in the Shimon County Jail until her sentencing in January. As for the baby, Sergeant Solt from the Elmira Police Department says she is doing well. A uh, final determination has not been made um, of the final placement of permanent custody for the child. The, that will be handled in family court. Reporting in Elmira, Karen Anselmo, WENY News.